it just felt like there was a lot of finger pointing that teachers haven't followed up on the rally, um, which isn't altogether true. It's not at all true. Teachers and union representatives are not happy with the way an Associated Press report framed the Red for Ed rally. They call the article misleading. You may remember I talked to Shannon Fisher, a teacher for Fort Wayne Community Schools at the State House back in November. We reached out to her for a reaction to this article published earlier today. The headline, Big Indiana Teacher Protest, didn't prompt funding action. Fisher and two union colleagues say that's misleading because Indiana passes the state's budget biannually, which means the pay boost teachers rallied for couldn't happen until April of next year. Another part of the article that caused frustration claimed lawmakers said teachers weren't actively reaching out to them with solutions on other issues central to the rally, like new license requirements, the iLearn test, and retaining young teachers who are leaving for other careers. There was a lot of criticism for teachers wanting to go to the rally on a school day, but then, then in retrospect, we're getting criticized for not being there when we could have been missing school again. The article notes few educators have returned to the state house since the rally, even quoting one lawmaker who says he wanted to work with teachers but was never contacted by them. Local union leaders say that's just not true. This was not really a year when funding was going to be opened up for everything. So it made it sort of sound in that headline like, oh, um, there was going to be money available and we didn't get it. And that really isn't exactly what happened. You know, I think that what Steve says is right. When we look to next year, when it's going to be a budget year, that's when I think we're going to see some real differences. The article is extremely misleading because ISTA and, teach and teachers have had a presence every single day of this session. Voss believes bills looking to amend higher hour based licensing requirements, decoupling test scores from teacher evaluations, and reforming laws regulating teachers unions and collective bargaining are all realistic changes being considered right now in the 2020 legislative